Hi guys, welcome to this video. Is there even a mic? Okay, again. Yeah. Sometimes I talk to myself. Anyways, um, we are in this part full of words, but I guess it's kind of like common sense. Well, not really. So let's give you guys an example of what's happening here. When you have $100 and let's say you and your sibling, if you have one, your mom goes like, oh, your elder brother has to get two times more than you. So the ratio for that is two to one. Okay, ratio. Two to one. So how are you going to divide this money, right? Well, this is how you do it. First, the fraction for your elder brother is two out of three. How about three? Two plus one. That's the total. Two out of three. And you will only get one out of three. So when you calculate this, I will teach you how to calculate that. So now, $105, for example, is divided into two portions uh, in the ratio of 3 to 4. Uh, so I think I will most likely use, I will continue to use this way to be safe and consistent. Ratio, value. So ratio is like a simplified version. So if you have 3 to 4, it's easier to divide when you have $7. Because $7 can be divided to $3 and $4 directly, right? But what if you have $14? Do you know how to divide that? Well, uh, if you calculate it, it's actually double. So 6 to 8. 6 plus 8 is $14. Okay, so ratio is like the simplified version of uh, dividing stuff. Value is the original amount, okay, I would say. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do is portion A is in red. Portion B is in uh, blue. Okay, so we are finding A. We don't know the portion, the actual value. A divided by the total amount, I will use purple because blue plus red, I mean blue plus red, blue plus red is purple in arts. So in total, you have 105. The ratio for A is 3, while the ratio for purple is 3 plus 4. Now you want to calculate this first before you uh, do some multiplication and some magic. So make sure you make it to 3 out of 7 first, and then move 105 to the right side. Finally, I don't have my calculator. Let's use my iPhone. 3 divided by 7 times 105 is 45. So A is 45. Okay, so that's one type of the question. I think it's more or less the same. I don't see anything special. Uh, that's basically how you do it. Now be careful with this one. This one's asking for two stuff, A and B. So let's say I want to find B this time. Another example, B is in blue, A in red. Okay, I'm just going to find B, save some time. Okay, so two fractions, value. I always put what I'm finding on the top left because that's going to be easier for us. So we're finding B and it's under value. It's not a ratio. Ratio is given to you, so we'll put it on the right. The ratio for B is 8. 5 and 8. 5 is for A. 8 is for B. And then at the bottom of B, 143. 143 is actually the total. Total number. Red plus blue. A plus B together becomes 143, right? So we want to know what's the portion for B. The ratio for the purple one is red A plus B, 8. Okay, total. So if you move things around, we have B equals to 8 over 13 times 143. So you must be going like, Mr. Genesis, why don't we just start with this step? Why are you wasting our time? Well, I just want you to realize how we basically got to this step, okay? It's not always the total times the ratio. It's, it really depends. I can put A here, for example. 
if I, if I know the value of A, let's say A is 20, the value of A is 20, I can just put A there, 8 over 5, 8 blue over red, right? So this ratio method actually has a lot of use. If you're just going to start with this one, then you can, you'll probably give up if you don't have the total amount. Anyways, let's calculate. 8 divided by 13, 143, 88. So that's one part of the homework. Moving on. We have more questions here. Okay, how many questions? Quite a lot of pages. So we'll probably finish until here. Uh, let's do some classwork. Julina spends 1800 on buying a shirt and a dress. If the price of the shirt is $700, find the ratio of the price of the shirt to the price of the dress. So they want you to find, first you have to identify price of the shirt to the price of the dress, okay? This is our end goal. That's what we need to find. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, first, we wanna find, if the price of the shirt is 700, 1,800, oh, okay. So we want to find the price of the shirt divided by the price of the dress. Price of the shirt is given, 700. If she spends 1,800 in total, what's the price of the dress, right? Kind of common sense, 1,800 minus 700. Simplify this, um, 700 over 1,100. Use your calculator, 7 over 11. Oh yeah, 7 over 11. So the ratio that you want is 7 to 11. Okay. Uh, kind of straightforward, actually. So there are more questions. Really depends what we are facing. This one's a different one. A drink is made by mixing milk and mango juice. The volumes of milk and mango juice in the drink are 9 to 5 ratio. So let's color code this. Milk is in red, which is nine. Mango juice is four. The volume of the milk, that will be a red color. 270 ml. Find the volume of mango juice, okay? So let's see. Oh, this is where my ratio is going to be so useful. So we are finding the volume of mango juice, right? So mango, we put volume up here because we categorize what we're finding. On the right side, most likely it's gonna be ratio because the chapter is about ratio anyways. What is the ratio for mango juice? Four. Now the total, is, the total volume is not given here. What's given to you is the volume of milk. And the volume of milk is 270 ml. But, and the ratio of the milk is 9. So we're not adding. You got to be careful. If it's not talking about total, you don't go like 4 plus 9. Okay, 270 is milk, which represents 9 only. Okay, be careful with this. Very important information. So the volume of mango is 4 over 9 times 270. So what is 4 divided by 9 times 270? 120. So we have 120 ml for the mango. And it makes sense because 4 is smaller than 9, so you're expecting the volume of mango juice to be smaller than the milk. Okay, so let's see if we can find... How long is this video? Does it say... No. Uh, let's just stop here, okay? So most likely, or maybe we can do this one really quick. It's probably going to be difficult, but let's see. Um, find the total amount, find the amount that Nathaniel gets. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, 4,500 is the total. I will color that in purple. Uh, red goes to 7, which is Ramon, and then... Two is Nathaniel. So, 
we are finding how much Nathaniel got. So Nathaniel. Amount, right? It's amount. Divided by 4, 45,000. That's the total. Okay, that's the total. Um, the ratio for Nathaniel. Oh, why did I use red for Nathaniel? The ratio for Nathaniel is 2 in blue. And for the total, so well, total, you, you got to add them. 7 plus 2. Ratio. So finally, Nathaniel is going to get 2 out of 9, 4, 45,000. Okay. So let's count that. 2 divided by 9 times 45,000 is 10,000. Ooh, 10,000. Is that good enough for you, Nathaniel? Hope that's enough. All right. Um, if Nathaniel gets a 5,000 extra, find the ratio of Nathaniel to... Okay. Find the ratio of the amount got by Nathaniel to the total amount of Ramun and Nathaniel. So total. Nathaniel... Divided by total. Well, basically, you just divide them. Um, if Nathaniel gets five thousand dollars more, it's going to be fifteen thousand now, and the total amount is going to be forty-five thousand plus five thousand, which is fifty thousand. And then you just simplify this. You should get three out of ten, and the ratio is three to ten. Okay. So it really depends. I cannot cover up all the question. You gotta be flexible. Don't just memorize, try to understand what's happening, okay? Good luck for your homework. I'll see you tomorrow.